Hello friends, this is Saksham from MobileKitab.com and today we have with us the LTV One S and we'll be reviewing it for you. The LETV One S, the brand is now popularly known as La Echo, and uh, I don't know why they've changed it, but it has changed. However, this device does feature LETV on its back. So we'll be reviewing the device and providing you with the pros and cons of the device at the end of the video. So let's quickly just have a look uh, as to the features of the phone. Uh, design wise the phone is premium build and uh, let's have a look uh, what does this device has to offer. So it appears to be bezel free but by now as you will be knowing uh, this does has bezel and uh, the screen is not edge to edge but it does have a slight bezel at the end. So the screen does appear to be very bright and colorful. On the left side of the device, you have the SIM card slot over here. When you switch over to the right, you will find the power button and the volume rockers that are placed. On the bottom of the device, you have this new USB-C type connector over here as well as the speaker grills. On the top of the device, you will find the 3.5mm audio jack as well as this does feature an IR blaster. So as you can control various remote devices. On the back of the device, you have the fingerprint scanner, the 13 megapixel camera, an LED flash, and the second noise cancellation mic. So the device is premiumly built and feels great in hand. Let's have a quick review regarding the specs. MediaTek Halo Extend processor, the 2.2 GHz processor and the 3 GB RAM are the major ups of the device. Now let's unlock the device and find out how well does this fingerprint scanner actually perform. I've already set it up and it does unlock within a second. According to official record, the phone unlocks at 0.15 seconds. So that is brilliant when compared to high-end devices and this phone is priced at 10,999. So that is completely brilliant considering the price of the device. The fingerprint scanner is apt and performs great. Another thing that I would like to talk about is that the device feels brilliant in hand. The width of the device is less. So even though it is 5.5 inches, it doesn't feel heavy or is inconvenient to use. So that is a great advantage to have. Another thing that I liked about the device is that it recognizes in which hand are you holding the device. If I unlock it through my right hand, it recognizes it and the unlock screen appears here. Whereas if I hold it in my left hand and try to unlock the device, the lock pattern comes over here. So that is something brilliant that it senses which hand you are using. So it makes one hand use a great experience. But I wonder how many people will be using it because we have this fingerprint scanner at the back which does the job brilliantly. So now moving ahead, we did test the call and the call reception was brilliant. We didn't find any issue with regards to the tower reception or the call reception. The receiver of the call was even able to hear my voice clearly and said my voice was not distorted or full of hindrances. The speaker at the top is brilliantly built and the voice clarity is good coming over to the ui of the device the letv la one s is running on eui which is a custom rom of letv as you can see it is running 5.5 eui and is based upon android 5.0.2 so when exactly will be receiving the marshmallow update is not sure as this is a custom ROM and it takes time to build versions for it. Moving ahead, let us just look at the notification panel. So the notification panel is clean. You don't have any toggles over here. To switch or use the toggles, you have to press the button at the bottom left and it will bring up a control center like feature on the iPhone. So you get to see the multitasking tabs over here at the bottom of this control center and you get various connectivity options over here just as the Wi-Fi, data connection, auto rotation, flight mode and the volume ringer. So they are trying to gimmick I believe the iOS and provide features like this 
and at the top over here you have various shortcuts such as screen capture, flashlight, etc. So the users may find it difficult to adjust with the EUI as they have moved the options from the top notification to the uh, bottom where you find the multitasking app. So the LETV One S has a 3 GB RAM. So let's find out how is the RAM management of the phone. Let's quickly jump to app management and see the RAM management of the phone. So as you can see out of the 3 GB only 1.7 GB is free currently. So even if we kill all the apps that have been running in the background, I'll just do it at the moment. So I'm killing all the apps that were running. You can still find that only 1.5 GB of RAM is free to the users. So when you're using nothing, it still consumes 1.5 GB. So the EUI is highly bolted and it takes half of your RAM just to run the EUI. So one thing that the users may have to compromise with is the RAM management. So talking about RAM management, let's head over to benchmarks. So running the Antutu benchmark on this device gives LETV One S a score of 51,487. To be precise, this is a brilliant score considering the budget, the features it has to offer and everything else. Even on the 3D test, it scores around 11,000. So for a budget device are priced around 10,000, this is a great score and it performs brilliantly when it comes to the benchmark. Moving ahead to the camera of the device, you'll notice a clean UI. The camera UI is simple, but once you'll notice that it also resembles the iOS UI, the similar features over here. When you swipe left or right, you can switch between various modes such as slow motion, video panoramas, you even get these filters to make your photographs beautiful even before clicking them. So this is even another feature which is present on the iOS and they have even incorporated it in the camera UI. On the left side of the device you get the settings where you can switch settings so as to capture beautiful images such as exposure, contrast and the shutter speed as well. So we did test the device under various lighting conditions so as to view how is the camera performance. The camera performs brilliantly in daylight images as you can see through the photo samples. The color reproduction is vibrant and vivid. However, when you compare it to artificial lighting or low light photography, the image seem to be a bit noisy and distorted. So I wouldn't say it is a great performer under low light, but it is just about Okay, so moving ahead, let us talk about the display of the device. I will quickly run a video so as to give you a preview about the display of the device. The 5.5 inch HD display is brilliant to look at. When you run videos on it, even though you can switch between angles, we have tried all possible viewing angles and found that the display was vibrant sharp and still giving a clear view of the video. So this screen will be great to look at and will make movie watching, show watching or even streaming a brilliant watch for eyes. The display is great. However, one thing you'll notice after using the device for 10-15 minutes that the back of the device does start to feel warm. So as I am using it, I place my hand on the back and I can feel the device warm. However, it is not inconvenient, but it does feel warm. Keeping that aside, let us head over and find out how the LETV One S performs when it comes to games. We played the low-end games as well as the high-end games. While playing Subway Surfer, the phone performed well. We didn't notice any lags whatsoever. There were no frame drops as such, and the game was vivid as well as brilliant to play on and we didn't face any major frame drops as well. We even played high-end games such as NFS on the device and the phone performed brilliantly under these gaming conditions. The audio on the device was even brilliant as the dual speakers 
gave the game a nice ambience altogether and the gaming experience was nice on the device. You won't find any lag or any frame drops anywhere. The game ran smoothly and the graphics were brilliant. So coming to the pros and cons of the device, let us start off with the cons. The first thing I would like to talk about is the custom UI of LETV One S. The LETV One has has a custom ROM on it, the EUI, which many users will find difficult to customize themselves with and use, as this is not that user friendly and has tried a different approach to the entire Android system. And they have provided toggles over here, which used to be present in the notification panel. So the users will have to get used to it some may get used to it or some may dislike it the other thing that i would like to talk about is the camera at the back this 13 megapixel camera at the back performs just about average however the camera at the front which is a 5 megapixel shooter performs okay and there are no major issues but when compared to daylight shots the daylight shots were brilliant but the low light shots were distorted and noisy the other thing you'll notice while using the device is that the device tends to get warm. Maybe it is due to the metal body it has. When I put my hand on it, I do feel the heat which it generates while you use it for long hours as I've been using it for around 30 minutes or so now and it does feel warm. Heading over to the things that I liked about the device, the first thing that I would like to say is the look and the build of the device. For a 10,000 phone, it is premiumly built and feels great in hand. You won't feel as if it is a 10,000 phone. It competes with any phone which is premiumly priced. The other thing that I would like to talk about is the IR blaster at the top. It is an added functionality where you can control various other applications through the device itself. It has an inbuilt remote controlling app so as to you can control devices which are connected on the same Wi-Fi network. This is a functionality which I don't find people using it on regular basis, but it is a great added advantage to have. The next thing that I would like to talk about is USB-C type connector at the bottom of the device. The device does support fast charging and we did test it. The device charged up to 80% in less than an hour. So that was a graded functionality. Now coming to the fingerprint scanner at the back, the device unlocks at around less than a second which is brilliant considering the price. The other functionality is the screen. It is a 5.5 inch in screen which is brilliant to look at and the display feels great in hand. So overall the LETV One S is a brilliant phone for such a price but it does have its own cons to go with. In the comment section below give us your views regarding the device and press the like button if you enjoyed watching the video. Thank you.